Elizabeth Vigie Lebrun was born to an artist father and quickly climbed the rungs of the aristocracy to secure her artistic success. Although her father was supportive of her desire to be an artist and taught her, he died quite early. Lebrun didn't have the means to secure an apprenticeship or private teacher, meaning she is virtually self-taught. One of her routes to wild success was her marriage to a prominent art dealer. Although she was already making commissions painting portraits for patrons well outside of her own circle, this marriage proved to be a positive move for her artistic career. She produced about 800 paintings with a long list of royal patrons, including Queen Marie Antoinette. Even though her technical skill and merit alone should have allowed her entry to the French Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture, it was only through royal intervention that she was accepted. Only four positions were held at the Academy for women at any given time, so this was a great honor. Although her paintings might look traditional to us, Lebrun broke through many established norms in portraiture. For example, she introduced a feeling of warmth through welcoming gestures and slightly open-mouthed smiles. When this painting, her self-portrait with her daughter Julie, debuted at the salon, it was shocking. <gasps> Showing teeth in portraits was provocative at the time, and ignored all the rules on how to portray a face formally. Additionally, the portrait displayed a level of maternal intimacy that was foreign to the French public at the time. All of this was underscored by the fact that Vigie Lebrun was a bold contributor to the salon in, in a day when women's public display of her profession was very frowned upon. Anne Higginet, a professor at Bernard University, says, her move into the public domain was so radical for a woman that, in a way, she was the most radical painter of the period. But scandal soon led way to acceptance. The naturalism and relaxing qualities of Vigie Lebrun's portraits soon became immensely popular among the French aristocracy and a trademark of her style. Thanks to this woman, the road was paved for more shock and awe at the salon in future years.